I'm from Jamaica, and Jamaican, you guys know any Jamaican people? Yeah. Couple people? Yeah. Ari man. Jamaican people were proud people. Ask any Jamaican where you're from. Bomba clot, Jamaica. Where are you from? Bakayad. We're the proudest people till we get to the border. Where are you from? Canada. I always love to ask people coming through the city, what's the stand-up story with you? How long have you been doing it, and what attracted you to first get up on stage? Um, I've been doing this uh, about 22 years, and uh, I was living, I grew up in Montreal, and I was, uh, I was doing acting lessons. I worked at a psych unit. <laughs> I worked at a hospital for 10 years with psych patients, and I'm like, I can't do this the rest of my life. Uh, somebody in my acting class, uh, his name was Brad, actually, he goes, hey, Sad, have you ever tried stand-up? You're pretty funny. I go, are you crazy? I would never do that. That looks hard. But it stayed in my head. And I started writing jokes in the psych unit every day for three years. <laughs> that might be the best story I've heard. Your comedy <laughs> career started in a psych unit. That is yeah. just fantastic. Yeah. So, I mean, over the years, obviously, you're playing a lot of clubs. But a couple of years ago, everything stops. There's a pandemic along with that. Society's always involving with, evolving with political correctness. How have these things affected your routine? Well, yeah, I went, going in um, and coming out, I did a lot of um, online shows with like John Paul. We had a, a group called the Minority Report. We did skits in the house. There's nothing else to do. And people needed to be entertained. So we we ended up writing and writing and writing, you know, wrote, wrote a lot of COVID jokes, wrote a lot of uh, being at home jokes. And it, it coming out of COVID, I had to work that all into my new, my new, uh, you know, my new 45, my new 35. Because the problem is, um, you kind of forgot your old stuff too. <laughs> so, but here's the thing, when you get on stage now, you don't want to do too many COVID jokes. You want to do three or four. Nobody wants to be reminded of it. So with that in mind though, I mean, as you said, you've been doing this for a while. Clearly there is a lot of material there. How do you choose when you go from show to show what material to do? Well, I use my best three COVID sh uh, jokes to start the show. And then I go into like different things. Then I rotate into what I used to do and then I put all my new jokes and then I talk about you know what's been happening with me lately and it, it just worked out perfect like it just worked beautiful because we had to do a lot of outside shows rooftop shows you know everything was like different and crowds have gotten really socially awkward now they don't talk as much as they used to they're just like or like the Christmas season this year crowds were like they didn't even want comedy they just want to talk to each other because they've been at home for so long this was the first year that everything's been fully open and people have just gotten to me people have gotten really weird <laughs> does that benefit you though i mean the fact that people are getting weird i feel like you could pull a whole bunch of material from that yeah, yeah, yeah. but you don't want to talk to them too much they don't know how to act in public anymore <laughs> all right so with that in mind i mean we learned a little bit about the act that people are going to be seeing this friday and saturday but along with that i like to to kind of flip the script on comedians you know you've played burlington before you played halton region before what can you expect from the burlington audience okay so burlington yuck yucks have been open about i think around five years I've never headlined it. Um, I'm one of the strongest hosts in Yuck Yucks, and they try to work the newer cats there because it's close and they could just travel. And um, it's a great club. I mean, going into that situation, I lived in Burlington for about a year, so I feel so comfortable there. And the crowd's just awesome. I feel like, oh, we're, 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 too, we're, we're too good. We're not, we're not good enough for Oakville, but we're too good for Hamilton. <laughs> We're going to leave it at that, Cedric. That is what is happening this Friday and Saturday night. It'll be a bit of a homecoming for you because you did live here for a while. Thanks so much for doing this, man. Looking forward to the show. Thanks for having me, Jason. It's been great.